Hi there, Manny Avetisian here doing a live painting demo inside Rebel 3, their latest version. Uh, this is a um, uh, beta version I have here. And uh, for this demo, I've decided to paint the Mighty Thor from Ragnarok, of course, there with the shorter hair. I thought he would make a fun caricature painting. I just saw the movie uh, recently and uh, got inspired by his mightiness. So uh, I like to start off using Rebel's amazing uh, wet medium uh, brushes. Here I have the uh, watercolor brush set to uh, a very high wetness to capture the um, the dripping effect, which I like to do uh, traditionally as well. This is a technique that I uh, learned from my favorite painter and a uh, great friend, Jota Liao. He approaches his paintings this way and uh, taught me uh, a bit about the technique. And um, I'm really excited that I can utilize this technique in Rebel, unlike any other painting program, and take advantage of real watery, drippy medium that runs down a canvas like, um, like traditional paint would. So here I uh, block in uh, all of the... Uh, shadows, all the darks. Uh, I like to take this step by step um, using the very wet watercolor brush, uh, blocking in all of the um, shadows, and then of course going in with the uh, the middle tone, the orangish. Uh, I'm going to try not to make uh, the painting as orange as the reference photo here. I think uh, it's a scene of, in a movie where he was quite uh, orange, but I'm going to try to stick close to it, but of course uh, use my own uh, knowledge of light and shadow to achieve a, a more aesthetically pleasing look than an orange Thor. So um, typically I like to work shadows, midtones, highlights, and then go back and forth and uh, until I achieve a look that I like. Um, what's great about Rebel is the uh, the controls you have within the brushes. Uh, the brushes are limited uh, compared to say some of the other painting software where you have almost an infinite number of brushes and uh, settings for each but I feel like that that's a, a distraction and a, a flaw. Uh, I like when a software has um, more intuitive fewer brushes that actually work and do what you uh, expect them to and you can customize them uh, to achieve a wide variety of uh, different style brushes. Uh, here, for instance, I'm using now the acrylic brush, and you can set the pressure and loading of the brush uh, to, uh, to your liking and achieve um, uh, everything from a feel of a very thick uh, paint to uh, a lighter, more dry brush technique style, which I'm applying here. Uh, I like to be able to layer and work um, and slowly build up and that's what uh, I'm doing right here with uh, Thor's face. Now um, my workflow I like to work uh, in order to not get caught up in the nuances and the details right away I like to work zoomed out completely and force myself not to zoom in until uh, I'm ready to get down to the nitty-gritty and the details. Uh, so working with a larger brush here and um, um, putting in the masses um, and the uh, larger areas is uh, how I'm, pro I'm approaching this. Um, it's, it's a flaw I, I've had to work on for, for years, not getting caught up in the details right away. And uh, this is how I fight against that. I force myself to work zoomed out as much as possible, and that forces me to, to stay um, broad with my strokes and uh, not get caught up into the minute details until I've um, gotten it to a certain level that I like. Now here, of course, I zoom in to get some of the smaller details of the face. And uh, um, my reference photo, I'm actually working off my cell phone. So um, I'm zooming in the same level as I am in, in the painting uh, on, on my cell phone to get to the the nuances here. I'm actually not referencing 
that photo you see on screen here that I, I that was added in later. Um, here I, I decided to uh, copy the the reference photo as much as possible and go in with a black. And uh, I don't know if I like that very much. Uh, I do I do eventually go back to a, a lighter background. But what's really cool about Rebel is if you zoom in. Uh, to that black background, it's not solid black. You you can definitely see uh, brush strokes. You see uh, just like you would in traditional medium. Uh, you can see the uh, directional strokes of the acrylic brush uh, according to how much loading and pressure uh, was on the brush when I applied it. That's really cool because um, again, it's not like. Uh, it gives you a very realistic look and feel unlike a very airbrushed or um, digital look. As a caricature artist and uh, 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 with a traditional background, I love the idea of working traditionally. However, given my schedule and my lifestyle of uh, being uh, a traveling caricature artist, I don't have the luxury of a studio. And uh, what I love about Rebel um, is that ability to uh, work as if I was painting traditionally and in a studio with an easel and a canvas, um, but do that right here on my tablet. I'm using a Wacom tablet here, uh, the new uh, Mobile Studio Pro 13-inch Wacom tablet. Um, it it's got some cool features too that work well with Rebel, like uh, the ability to change brush sizes on the fly. Uh, one thing uh, I want to mention about that in Rebel that sets it apart with any other painting uh, software I've ever used is the ability to, if you have the Wacom tablet, you can actually change the brush size as you're applying the stroke. So in one stroke, you can rotate the brush size uh, wheel on the Wacom tablet and it will actually go from large to small to large in the same stroke, which is really cool. It, it allows me to, um, uh, I mean, I use that all the time if I'm trying to do a stroke and uh, in, in the same stroke, I want to go large to small without having the brush itself go large to small according to the pressure that I put on it because uh, I like to work just like you can't, make a real brush bigger or smaller as you're painting. I like to work with a, a brush that also doesn't have the pressure enabled um, um, size uh, jitter, if you want to call it, uh, enabling the size to increase with the pressure. I like to work with uh, one size at a time, but with Rebel, the, it, you do get to cheat a little bit. <laughs> uh, if you have the Wacom tablet, you can increase the size of your brush in the middle of the stroke by rotating the wheel, which is a really cool feature. I don't know if that was intentional, but it seems to be. <laughs> I think the developers for that. So um, getting down to the details here, uh, again, I can't emphasize enough how much I really enjoy working in a digital medium that so closely resembles and emulates live paint. Um, I try to paint live as much as possible and with the ability to paint in a, in a platform like Rebel, uh, the transition to a live medium is very easy. Um, there's no new learning curve uh, because the software reacts very similarly to a water-based medium, um, watercolor and acrylic uh, specifically. Uh, whatever techniques I learn within this program, I could take back to a traditional medium and vice versa, which is super cool. There's no, again, the, no steep learning curve in the software and trying to mess around with weird settings. Everything's very intuitive and straightforward. It does what you think it's going to do. And I really love that about the platform. So uh, this is the Complete painting, I'm going to call it done at this point. I like uh, leaving things somewhat rough and uh, to the imagination. So if you are a traditional artist and you want to delve into digital medium but want to uh, retain your knowledge and transfer it over to a digital medium without a steep learning curve, look into Rebel. 
you uh, won't be disappointed. It's uh, pretty amazing what they've achieved as far as a uh, digital painting platform that mimics live paint.